how to invest in real estate if you are already a homeowner. What is going on guys? This is RJ Bautista, your local incredible realtor with eXp Realty. Today, I'm going to show you how to invest in real estate if you are already a homeowner. This is the good chance or best things to do if you want to invest in real estate and also the best time as well. Why? That's because as you know, it's a buyer's market. So when you are planning to buy a property right now, you can negotiate the property for yourself and then use as that for investment property. For example, for rentals, for short-term rental, or for even though long-term rental you can do that one all right so if this is you make sure to watch this video from this start until the end so that you will see some good nuggets and also i will share also what i experience and what i'm working with my other clients or investor clients all right but before i start this video if you're new to my channel welcome please subscribe if you haven't done so the most important thing you know that smash that like button for me and share this video to all your family and friends because you know why sharing is scary so without further ado let's jump into it so first thing i would like to say here if you are a home owner already and if you've been to your property for at least let's say two years or more than that you have probably a good equity in your property first of all rj what is equity equity this is the value that you will get from the property over time okay equity sometimes you will get like between three percent to five percent even sometimes ten percent in particular location of your property how good is that one for example i'll give you like quick example for this so you understand this so for example of the price of the property that you bought is hundred thousand okay this is only a good example and easy math as you know i'm not good in math Oops. however if you times the one hundred thousand let's say five percent you get like equity in your property within let's say in six months you already have like five percent equity in your house so if you times that one hundred thousand to five percent which is giving you a 5,000 equity of your property. How good is that one, right? Without doing nothing, you just just owning the property. That's how real estate works, okay? Over time, they are increasing your value or the value of the property compared to other things like, for example, for vehicle or cars or boat. You know, those things, they don't appreciate over time. Instead, they are depreciate. So the value of what you're paying for those particular stuff, instead of the giving you more money over time, they are like, you know, depreciating the price compared to real estate if you own a real estate and then you know if you own like multiple properties start off you know getting wealth all right having a good wealth because you know as i said earlier real estate is a good investment for a long run okay by the way i just want to clarify i am not a financial advisor or i am not any kind of person that who advise where to put your money okay i just want to clarify that one i am just a realtor here in central florida and I also i help my clients not just clients i also work like investor clients you know how to help them to find a good property to invest all right so make sure you clear that one so let's say you have a property and you've been sitting there for two years you have like option what you need to do either you get the equity of your property and once you get that equity let's say you have like an equity of like at least thirty thousand in your property because nowadays you know the price of the property probably around 300 400 or even five hundred thousand or six hundred thousand and then you bought this property you've been here in this property for at least two or more years you are probably having a good chunk of equity in this property okay so let's say you have like at least 30 or 40 thousand equity in your property what you need to do is either get that equity out in your property and then what you can do to that equity is pay for the down payment for the next property okay sounds good right so let's say you want to buy a property which is like 300 thousand and you want to use this for rentals either short-term rental or or long-term rentals either or you know because rentals will give you not just about the equity I'm telling you every six months or a year however they will also give you a cash flow okay what is cash flow now RJ okay cash flow is this is the money that you will collect from the rent of your property if you buy a rental property and whatever you pay for the mortgage let's say your mortgage is like a thousand dollars per month and then you rent out your property for one thousand five hundred so how much money that you left if you pay thousand dollars to your mortgage you will have like 
$500 left in your account, right? So that $500, that's called cash flow. Or I would say cash cow flow. Wow. Cash flow right? So every month you will have like cash flow from that property. And then once you get that money, what you will do is either spend for yourself or save that money for your next tour or next travel, wherever you want. Or you do whatever you want on that money because that's your cash flow. It means like you can use that money whatever you want to do, okay? Because you are already, you know, pay for your mortgage for that particular property. And then once you do next is a good thing here. As I said earlier, remember, your property is going off value, okay? They are not going down. So what happens is if you have like a rental property for at least one, and then what you need to do is get another equity after maybe two years in the property, get the equity again, and then buy again the property and use that equity from the second property for your down payment for your third property. Sounds good, right? However, you cannot just like get the equity of the property and then just buy any kind of property. Like let's say, oh, this property is good. Okay, this is cheap. I can rent this out for this amount of money. Yes, you can do that. However, you need to remember when you are buying a property and especially if you're going to use it for rentals, okay? Not every single property are good for rentals, especially if you want to do it for short-term rental, which is I'm sub-niching on properties, which is I'm working with different clients for short-term rentals. And then what is short-term rental is that where you can use the property for Airbnb, all right? So it means like they can stay in this property for not more than probably six months or they can stay here for a week, two weeks, three weeks, or, you know, six weeks, and then they're going to come out. If the property you're going to use it for long-term rentals, that is different. Long-term rental means like you need to use the property for more than or minimum of at least seven months and above, okay? That is the long-term rental. So you need to make sure that you understand that bit because if you don't, you know, you don't know which strategy that you're going to use for your property. So what will happen is, as I said earlier, you cannot just pick a property and buy that one straight away. You need to work number one is the location. I always say this one, location, location, location. Either you're going to buy for short-term rental for Airbnb or for long-term rental. You need to need, you need to think about the location. Why you're going to buy that property? Why the people who will rent out the property because of what they can do in that location? Okay, number one, remember that one. Because if you don't remember that one, buy this property in the middle of nowhere, do you think they're gonna live in that property? You answer that, okay? So what kind of location that we're looking about? Number one, I would say is like hospital, okay? Hospital is good place because a lot of like travel nurses or short-term rental, they're gonna use your property to stay there for probably three months, four months, whatever they contracted in. Or maybe they can stay there for more than eight months. You never know, right? Which is good. So number one is hospital. Second is is what you can do in your area let's say about like in your area you have like a nice beach area or you're close to the coast all right so beach is just around the corner from your area so what will happen here people will travel to see that area and where they're gonna stay in your property right so if it's either for good for short term that one yeah go for it so last one I'm gonna give you one example school all right if you're gonna buy a property and you're thinking about oh I don't like doing short-term rental Airbnb I want to be like something which is good for long-term rentals which is seven months lease or seven month rentals and above you need to think about location school why school okay if they are gonna rent out a family in your property what they gonna ask for school right for their kids so it means like they need to find something for their kids to rent out and then stay in your property because they have kids to where they're gonna go for the school for all right so remember that thing because if if you don't you know you're probably getting the property which is not gonna be rent out as much as you're thinking of and also the property or the price of the property of for rent is not gonna be as good as you are thinking of okay make sure you remember that one okay for a bonus what I'm gonna say here is like if you are going to buy a property for rentals because here in Florida we have like a lot of HOA okay maybe you heard that a lot HOA meaning the homeowners association okay so homeowners association means like they have a lot of rules and regulation that you cannot you know not just following it and just do whatever you want it's a lot of here in Florida you need to remember that one make sure if you are going to buy a property either 
you're gonna do it for Airbnb short-term rental or long-term rental, make sure that this particular area is allowing rentals at the first time or they are allowing like rentals first of all because otherwise if they don't allow in rentals and buy the property what are you gonna do a pr property if you already have property where you're living in right now all right so think about that one we need to think about the rules and regulation second is the zoning if you don't know about the zoning this is the zoning for is this particular property is zoned for short-term rental is this particular property is zoned for long-term rental or is this property zoned for only for residential use you need to think about those because if not and then buy the property and you don't know what to do you know you are just paying mortgage without nothing and then it's hard for you to get the mortgage back because no one's can rent out for your property because you didn't do your diligence or your you know inspection or not just inspection but like your research about this particular place all right so this is the video for today i know i'm talking too much i'm stopping my video but before i do that one if you stay in this video until this end comment down below real estate all right so i can see how many people who watch this video not just from the start until this end and i really appreciate your time watching my video so once again thank you for watching i'll see you on my next video peace what is going on guys this is RJ Bautista your local incredible real estate what what real estate realtor your local incredible realtor your local incredible realtor okay let's do it again part two. <laughs>